Hi. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to export data from a layer in ArcGIS Pro into a shapefile. Uh, this is a pretty common operation if you have to um, share data from a larger data set and uh, want to export it into a shapefile. Uh, shapefiles are kind of the best way to share um, geospatial data in between uh, people through email and things like that. Um, ArcGIS Pro kind of defaults to using their geo database uh, system for storing geographic information. Um, so a lot of the the steps kind of um, well, in it, like inherently want to save it into a geo database. So we have to use uh, some file extensions and uh, a little bit of a different process that uh, is a little bit less than user friendly. So uh, we'll just do a video tutorial to um, to go through exporting some data into a shapefile. Uh, so on the screen here, we have a couple of example files. So uh, I put a few layers in there just to make it a little bit more complex because we want to do a like, specific selection or subset of the data and then export that into a shapefile. Um, so to do that, we'll make sure that we kind of target the area that we're, or the layer that we want to export and not the other layers. So we'll do that by making the target layer, which in this case is pipeline and ancillaries. And then we will make that the only selectable layer. So we'll go down to selection and then make this the only selectable layer. And then when we go to the, uh, the map and select tool, when we draw a selection, it will only draw, it'll only capture the layers that are in that uh, pipeline and so So we'll do a selection. And the highlighted areas are going to be the areas that we'll export. If we were to clear that selection, the whole, if we do an export, it would export the whole data layer. So we'll just do a subset of that. Um, it'll highlight. Uh, we can validate or verify what's going to be exported by opening the um, attribute table. And then I usually like to click on this uh, little icon down here to show just the selected record, record so we can kind of see what's going to be exported. Just as a way to like double check. Um, then you right click on your layer in the contents pane, go down to data and export features. A uh, window will pop up um, with some kind of default applied, and you can see how it wants to go automatically into a geo database. Um, so we'll make sure that uh, this is the layer that we actually want to export that lines up to what's in our table of contents, and then we'll open up. Uh, file explorer and uh, so we'll have to so usually it opens up in kind of this window which is your like project default uh, file path and uh, so we'll we want to save it probably inside that file path so we'll have to kind of go up a level to the folders and then select the the project uh, file and then hit OK so that's going to be the folder that the shapefile will be saved into. And then we have to explicitly tell it that it is a shapefile. It will know that by the file extension. So we can say uh, share and stories. And then we can say one. And then we'll add the dot shape at the end. And that will ensure that it actually exports to the shapefile. And then hit OK. And then it'll take that data and export it. So to make a little bit of room, I'll close the attribute table. And then we will see that just areas that we have selected are exported. And then we can go over to our project folder. And if we hit refresh on here, we can see that it's saved in there as a shapefile. And then we can browse that path and see it in our uh, in our computer uh, through with like Windows Explorer. You can see that it will be in your project folder as well. And then you can package it normally you zip it into a shapefile and send it from there. Let's browse it off screen. 
screen here. Put that in there, you can see. Good save to the shape file. So before we zip it, we'll just remove that from our project. And we should clear out all of those log files, and then we can just go down in here, select all the components of the shape file, and go send to and press zip file. So now we can. Take that zip file and email it out. Uh, zip file is good just because it keep, keeps all the components of the shape file together. Um, there's four main components to it that have to be uh, kind of all in the same place for a shape file. In order for it to work, so you need your .shp file, your .prj file, your .dbf file, and your .shx file. If any of those are missing, the shape file won't work. So that's why it's going to get this zip together to share it. So. So hopefully that kind of clarifies how to export some of uh, an existing layer into a shapefile. Uh, thanks for watching.